Kenya is predominantly occupied by pastoralists who work a living from layering livestock. Climate change poses a major challenge, but communities have adapted to the challenge in diverse ways. Many traditional roles and jobs have been lost, or many green jobs have been created. Northern Kenya is a unique landscape which comprises of dry, expansive land. The land looks desolate with very little vegetation. We have some hills. The land is not all, all flat. We have some hills in the area, but they are not very uh, they, they're just more hills. We have scattered slabs and some places have thicker slabs. And we also have some wetlands in the area. The local people, uh, you see people there who live there and they have nowhere else to go. And so the land has to provide livelihood for these people. We also have unique features such as Lake Trukana in the region which where people undertake uh, several activities such as fishing. They also swim in the area, recreation activities. Uh, this area supports many livelihood activities but the key one, the traditional one, is pastoralism which is characterized by uh, rearing of various types of livestock such as camels, goats and sheep. Donkeys. and cattle. But you also have fishing in the area, especially uh, supported by Lake Trukana. But northern Kenya has been affected by the adversities of climate change, uh, such as drought characterized by rolling for high temperatures and occasional floods. And this caused serious negative impacts, which include the land looking desolate with no vegetation, no tree cover or fodder for livestock, no water for domestic or livestock use, clear skies and high temperatures. And this has resulted into livestock death, which means loss of jobs and livelihoods leaving the communities uh, very, very desperate. We also have lack of water, where the communities have to get water from boreholes. And you find that since there are not so many, there is a lot of crowding in boreholes. Women suffer the biggest blunt because they have to transport water and firewood from far. Some people have started uh, doing business selling firewood and this promotes deforestation. Others have resorted into charcoal burning for sale, increasing deforestation. We also have increase in cattle raiding whereby after most livestock die due to drought Communities are left without a source of livelihood. This affects especially the young people because if a young man wants to get married, he has to pay dowry using livestock. And when all the livestock die, the person is, cannot get a wife. And some people have resorted into stealing cattle from others. And so you find in the region uh, some uh, the, the you have to... Uh, guard your cattle using guns and this promotes insecurity. We also have a problem of fish being wasted due to lack of infrastructure to 
transport them to the market. And as a result of uh, these problems, we also have new alternative jobs that have come up, such as aloe vera farming and processing of aloe vera products. And we see that especially women groups, uh, they have uh, they have machines to process the aloe vera, and especially widows who have been uh, widowed because of cattle reading, they have gone into this kind of practice in Trukana where they make soap and shampoos for sale and they sell to individual people and even to supermarkets and so they are able to get additional livelihood other than their livestock uh, which has been uh, affected by climate change. So these are new jobs. The other new job is irrigation. This is predominantly pastoralist, but you find community members being allocated blocks to farm, uh, to irrigate crops, and water is availed through tunnels, and they engage in farming. But uh, because of the pressure from climate change, communities have been forced to diversify the livestock herds to ensure that resilient ones survive the climate change adversities and so you one may have to choose between a camel between a cow between a goat between a sheep or, or even a donkey uh, to make sure that they survive wind energy and solar energy have also been introduced especially for pumping water uh, from boreholes the lessons learned from all this experience is that climate change has affected pastoralism in northern Kenya. People have sought alternative livelihoods such as agriculture, aloe vera farming, and processing, and diversification of herds, trading firewood and charcoal burning. And renewable energy has now been introduced into the area. So what does all this mean? Uh, it means that some jobs associated with traditional pastoralism have been lost, modified, or replaced. Some new green jobs have arisen as a response to climate change. And so, uh, this implies that government and training institutions, they have to develop new green skills at community level. And this should be done in the following ways. We need a green jobs assessment. You need to analyze which jobs are needed now um, as a result of changes in climate change. Green job assessment is very important, and we have to do this collaboratively with the communities, identify them, plan for them, uh, empower the communities in the field. You need to appreciate complementarity of stakeholders, harvest, store, and conserve uh, water, harness ecotourism in Lake Turkana, and even in dry lands, uh, using dry land resources, protect remaining vegetation, promote livelihood activities such as bee farming, harvesting of gamma arabica, sustainable firewood uh, collection, the issue of alternative energy sources, improved technologies, especially in the energy sector, dry rad crops farming such as aloe vera, which is new, the issues of irrigation, it needs to be done properly in a sustainable way. We need to plant trees, we need to install and maintain green energy equipment, upscale the benefits from green energy, maintain the water points and recharge of boreholes, improve load infrastructure. We need to invest also in enforcement of security. Mobile schools, veterinary services, information centers for the community. We also need to reskill for current and future jobs. All these upcoming jobs, we need to rethink about them and reskill the people. We also need to ensure that fishing is done sustainably. We don't want to see fish being wasted on the shores of Lake Trukana because of uh, lack of uh, means of transport of the fish to the market. And so all these green jobs that have come up, they need to be planned for. We need to reorient our training programs, our interventions to address the new emerging scenario of a changed climate in northern Kenya.